we had a Sphere Breaker, and then Shadow... Probably going to get this game. This is a mech game. It's not a Yule's game. You're against a Dragon Knight. You're against a Chen who's going to go mech. And he shows his fiery chest and says, Step off. This is our house. He Meanwhile, just taunted. the wards go down. He did. He taunted. He said, Come here. You want some of this? And both teams are staring each other oh. down. But what oh, a triple stun. Nice play to start it out. They're cut. They're separate. They go in the Tusk Ball. And they're not done. They're chasing. They're going on move. Rabbit taking a lot of damage. Will be the first blood. Down he goes. Turns back around. Moo could be next. It started with a triple stun from the Fisher that everyone thought would be enough, but it wasn't. And there's the secondary stun. Follow up from behind. Moo's going to be the second death and now a Lashrak stun from how well placed for the escape and boom they walk away they want more say, hey, they have I snowball up <laughs> normally what he does as a bounty hunter shutting him down as much as he can you see the sentries in the amount of wards it's so much hate going on the side of newbie Ooh, june under attack on the top lane fenrir opened up with the stun followed by Lashrak. one more will do it and down he goes beautiful play nice initiation tough off lane for an earth shaker as far as i thought he might yeah, it's interesting. I thought Ice would get attack. less than mm -hmm. the Earthshaker, in which case they're about even right about now. Uh oh, here uh, comes a potential engagement. Sees Banana, sees Moo. Here's the charge from FY. He goes through, decides not to go to the high ground. Pops Banana from the backside. Moo coming in, though. Wants to get the intercept. Goes for the invis room. Puts it into a bottle. Wants to chase FY. FY wants to charge, but doesn't have the mana. The stun is there. Telekinesis up, down. One more right click will finish the job. No, it won't. Oh, yes, it does. FY goes down to the Fisher. Nice play, but the turnaround is happening on Moo. Moo trying to run. Pops the invis room. Now it's chase on June. They lost the Chen. They lost the Earth. Shaker and they lost the centaur, and it goes a one for two basically. And VG can go very effectively right now. Oh, mid lane, they popped the ulti. Moo didn't stun though. That that's a oh. oh. in some trouble, went a little too deep, got caught. Outside, nice play by the Earthshaker, but it's not over yet as FY makes the charge. Ice 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 wants to turn back around and go on Rabbit. Moves TP did. Pops the ultimate, starts to burn him down. This could be the end of Ice. It is. Split Earth sure. missed. Split Earth mitts, and now Hal's got a run. Rabbit says, oh, 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 we want to get the kill. Moo tries to close, and they're going to get it. Yeah, if they can, yep, there's the distance. Rabbit lives from the high ground, and the, it's a beautiful triple. That's the new effect of Elder Dragon Form 2 coming in. They gave him there. Fills the bottle back up. It's going to head back over to the mid position. Gold lead has gone from that 2,500 lead down to a mere 500. Here comes Moo. Wants super. Right, left. Gets up the stun. Tries to go with the right clicks. Call down. Comes into play. But super steps outside of it. Moo and super head to head. Both are low. The charge is in play. Super tries to back off using those bottle charges. Moo says, I can't stick around, but it's too late. He's been found. He's been rotated on. And he has been obliterated. And immediately it calls back the smoke. So wrap around from Banana. June, San Sheng. They're pinging out. Ice, ice, ice. He came forward. They see him picks up oh no a little bit of an over layer there on the stuns will it be enough it will ice will still go down though a bit of miscommunication on the side of newbie obviously once you get 10 it'll be really easy to get level 11 right because that exp and well it just feels like vg has more map oh, control right big now big swap what a nice play into rabbit he is gonna go down here oh puts up the call now no man but there goes the ulti from Super. June was doing a TP in to maybe stop a little bit. And Shimetal, we see a smoke rotation. Ice throws back the ice. But it be enough. He's down. Stun comes out. It catches Shed. Now Jal can turn. They get one down. He goes immediately into a snowball. Wants to chase. Going deep. Decides it's not worth the trouble. He's stuck with the stun by the centaur. One, two. Poison comes out. It may be lethal for a second time. It is. Down he goes. Lashrak now has to make his run. Rabbit has arrived. Wants vengeance for the top lane. Chasing's putting out the stun. Oh, nice the swap. swap by Fenrir. Beautiful play to get him out of trouble. And Super's not interested in walking away. He wants to come in too. Chases them all backwards and walks forward with complete and total. A lot of minus armor, mm -hmm. so. Well, and that's the big fear that you have with the Vengeful Spirit to a certain extent, right? Is right now, their physical damage isn't that high, but all it takes is three skill points and a couple of items. And that changes dramatically. But here's the roll. They go in. DP lands the Echo Slam, but will it be enough? I don't think so. The charge is real. Goes through Pops Rabbit, transfers to June. June some trouble is going to get the Greater Bash. He goes down as well, but the fight's not over. FY caught in the middle of it, wants to try to get away. The rest of the team tries to come to help. Fenrir swaps Moo into death. Moo is going to go down, so now it's a three for what will likely oh, be Oh, FY one. even gets away, too. He got away. He He's escaped. Charging. Brutal. That progression as well. Oh, charge bottom lane. They have vision of 
of Rabbit. He blocks him off too. He doesn't even damage wow. Rabbit. Gozin doesn't even care about the attacks. Nice fall down's gonna catch two. Nice. He's got a blade mail. Does have a blade mail. Knocks him back. Wants to go. Rabbit stunned. Rabbit rocks. And now the fight's not over because there's the swap to Jun inside of the ice. And he has to go the long way around. Stun will finish the job. Now we see Moo come in. Pop the BKB. Super's got his. Requiem goes off. Everyone's low, but they don't even care. Beachy Gaming says, we'll stick around. I'll plays with you. And now the rotation towards the mid. They got that bottom tower they know they're a little low on life so they don't want to push to the high ground and they'll immediately head towards the middle lane and take out this tower and this is kind of good positioning from fy he'll still probably get picked off if they blink there's yes, the blink there's the sun opens up they want to move on fy echo slam used to secure the kill as they lock him in place as much as possible and that's what you got to do to get the kill on fy so vengeance achieved from his escape on the bottom lane a single pickoff and it does swing they need him to be the sacrifice yeah. to find a good initiation yeah, but you know, it, it, I can counter initiate, yeah. And it doesn't kill him to lose the gem too much without far away up they are right now. Here's the engagement, they go on Super. Nice Fisher to split the difference. Super dropping pretty low, gets picked up, thrown back. You find he's got the Aegis swap, comes out, Lou is in deep. Pops the BKB, hit with the stun. Nice counter swap played by the Rubik, but that puts him in way too far. He's going to go down. Super wants to move on Lou, trying to get off his ultimate. Get oh, the down there. Nice Echo Slam, catch the lob, but will be enough. Stun comes in. Down goes Moo. There we follow with the Earthshaker. He's going to go down as well. Quick five back on him. Hal starts to push. Wants to take these towers. And they're going to motivate right through it. Super swinging for over 200 damage. Starts to eat his way through the tower. Eat his way through the racks. The buyback on the Earthshaker did a little bit of slow. But all it did was really scare them. There is a buyback on the Dragonite. But he has no intention of using it, it looks like. They're just going to go ahead and yield these racks. Yep. That was really well played from Rubik as well. Both swaps were amazing. And... It just, Newbie has no damage. They really can't do Here anything. Here comes an engagement, double, nope. I thought they might go, but they didn't. I'm sorry. Yeah. Picked up a San Yasha, 31 minutes. I'm not a stat man, but I'm going to say it's a little bit late. Swaps, move, pops the BKB. Damage on move. Who's got nowhere to go? The ice path, the ice shards are out. He does get healed by the mech. They've lost Fenrir, but Super's going in deep. Pops his BKB, blows his ultimate, tries to get out, walks the wrong way. Caught in place by the Fisher Fall Down. Gonna get the double. Super picked up, thrown back. There's the move on Sunshang. He's gonna go down. June comes in to try and make it happen. Super gets the right click. He drops the Earthshaker and almost gets away, but doesn't quite get there. It ends up being a three for the price of two. But these guys can stick around and finish the tower. Yeah, oh, the ulti. Are they going to walk away? They aren't. FY goes to the charge, gets stunned on the way in, pulls up the ice charge, locks him in place. Al goes to the stun, not going to hit it. Mu has to keep running, gets knocked into the Lestrack stun. Nowhere to go. Back to base, but not the way he wanted. The GG comes out from Newbie, and BG takes the first game in this round robin tournament. Well played by PG Gaming. Yeah, that was just an all around clinic to put on. Boom. Yeah. Yes, really well played. From start to finish, shutting down Chen early on. They had mass wards, sentries everywhere placed. Spearbreaker always had tabs on him. Uh, Air Shaker 